This video has been a long time coming. I wanted to make this back in August, but I was unfortunately too stressed out by the whole endeavor to do so. However, with that being said, I am going to do this now, and this isn't scripted, so forgive me if it's a little all over the place. Back in August, I made a video on TikTok that got 800,000 views, and that's a current update. It has consistently grown since then. I get views on it every single day. I get comments on it every single day. That video is also posted here, and in it, I discussed that Procreate is not a professional app. I did not expect that to be such a hot take, but apparently it was, and since then I have gotten such a ridiculous amount of hate over my personal opinion that I decided I needed to make a video talking about social media. To clarify, I wanted to talk about how artists on social media don't seem to take art seriously anymore. Obviously, we know at this point that not everyone is going to take the videos you make seriously. Not everyone is going to follow your advice, and they don't need to. It's not a requirement. Besides that, there has also been a huge uptick in people resorting to severe individualism online. People really want everything to apply to them, they really want everything catered to them. For me specifically though, my audience is supposed to consist of mostly, you know, advanced artists or intermediate artists. I am not personally someone who can speak to a professional with professional language, but I'm certainly not marketing towards absolute beginners. Sometimes I do when I talk about things like free art programs or like starter art programs, but for the majority of the time I am trying to speak to other intermediate artists. Even though my audience is intended for intermediate artists, I do end up getting a majority of viewership from beginner artists. And I don't mind that. I don't mind that my content is being spread around to people who are younger or people who are just starting out or even hobbyists. That's fine. That's cool, actually. I really appreciate having that type of audience also. With that being said, the majority of these beginners seem to think that every video I make is intended for them. This could not be further from the truth, and I shouldn't have to specify my audience online to make it clear. If I am talking about professional programs and what should be used in a professional field, then hobbyists and beginners can understand that the video does not apply to them. And in this way, I feel like artists are not able to take art seriously. A lot of beginner artists, who are of course hobbyists, don't need to look at professional advice. They don't need to know what programs are professional tools. They don't need to use them either. Still, the result of that video was a lot of people yelling at me that I don't know what I'm talking about or that my art is not good enough to be professional. But that was not the critique I was making within the video itself. I was specifically critiquing the capabilities of a program. And while there are definitely critiques to be made about what I was saying, maybe I didn't include enough nuance and there are definitely people who can use Procreate as a professional tool, the response and backlash I got was so absurd that it made me take a step back from the app entirely. And I'm not going to pretend that it didn't affect me on YouTube as well. I didn't want to make this video for a long time because I didn't trust my own opinions. There are so many avenues any artist nowadays can take that pretending that every person's advice is meant for you is a horrible idea. In order to take art seriously, you do need to understand that there are different rule sets for different careers. There are different ideologies for different pathways. And if you're someone who has a desire to go into the art world or be in the industry at some level, you do need to learn professional programs. It is not a choice. You don't get to interact in a professional environment if you do not know how to use the tools that are used within that environment. While it is more than fantastic that social media has created the space where artists can learn and thrive and grow and become professionals without necessarily needing excessive tools like art school or connections, it also means that people are taking art less seriously. This, in combination with the influx of AI generative imagery, means that people are not taking art seriously in general outside of the artistic community as well. If one of your goals is to break into the artistic professional world and work within the art industry, you have to understand that there are rules. There are things you need to know, there are practices you need to have, your portfolio needs to fit the standards, and that means you can't just create for fun, you are creating with work in mind. One of the most common comments I got was people saying that I'm taking the fun out of artwork, or that I'm removing the hobbyism out of artwork. And yeah, I am. If you are going to be a professional, you need to do and know different things than if you are just doing something for fun. I feel like that's common knowledge. Art does inherently have rules because we have visual ideas of what things need to look like. 
You can break these rules, but in order to do that effectively and well, you should probably learn the rules in the first place. This is not an indictment of people who are self-taught or able to learn on their own through YouTube or TikTok or wherever their resources are, and this is not an indictment of people who have done that and become professionals overall. It's just much harder to achieve. The most effective way to achieve your goals is to take the time to learn intensely about the subject matter of what you are trying to do. And yeah, I'll admit, TikTok probably isn't the best place to do that, but I personally have learned a lot of things on TikTok that do help me with my art and other professional things. Historically, people have not taken art nearly as seriously as they should, considering it is the basis for every visual thing we have in our life. However, it is even stranger to see people on the internet who are artists take it less seriously and consider it only a hobby for everyone online. Many people do not consider art to be purely a hobby. Many people consider it to be something they want to do in their life. They consider it to be something they would pursue professionally. So why is it that content that is made for that specific purpose, that is excluding hobbyists and beginners, considered so horrible? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. This video is a little all over the place, but personally, I feel like I have to make it at some capacity, and if I want to redo it in the future, I will. I feel like I've been unable to make videos for a while on YouTube because I have been suffering with this imposter syndrome of creating content. I don't feel like I can trust my opinions after the hellstorm that happened to me on TikTok over that video that is still continuing to happen to this day. While I understand that TikTok is not indicative of the greater sphere of the internet, it does have a lot of younger people on the internet posting creatively. It does have a younger audience, and these people are living to be the next generation of artists. And so what they are doing online is not really acceptable because they are not able to take themselves as artists very seriously. They are not able to understand that there are different levels to artistry. And while you don't have to be anything more than a hobbyist to be an artist, you should be able to understand that artwork and art making is a huge part of everyday life, and so it needs to be taken seriously and opinions like mine deserve to be shared and deserve to be respected. Artists, please, please try to take art more seriously. It is more fundamental to the patterns of our human living lifestyle than you guys seem to understand.